uh, Ren Yu Hu from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL in Pasadena, California, is lead author on a paper published today in Nature. Wed is pushing the frontiers of exoplanet characterization to rocky planets to say, he said, uh, uh, it is, it is truly, uh, enabling a new type of science. Super hot, super earth, 55 Cancri, E55 Cancri, E also known as Janssen, is one of five known planets orbiting the sun-like star 55 Cancri in the constellation Cancer. With a diameter nearly twice that of earth and density slightly greater, the planet is classified as a super earth, larger than earth smaller than Neptune, and likely similar in composition to the rocky planets in our solar system. To describe 55 Candra E as rocky, however, could lead the wrong impression of the planet orbits so close to its star, about 1.4 million miles, or 1 25th, uh, the distance between Mercury and the Sun, and uh, that its surface is likely to be molten, of a bubbling ocean of magma, uh, with such a tight orbit, the planet is also likely to be tidally locked with a day side that faces the star at all times and a night side in perpetual darkness. In spite of numerous observations since it was discovered to transit in 2011, the question of whether or not 55 Kinkri E has an atmosphere, or even could have one given its high temperature, and the continuous onslaught of stellar radiation and wind from its star has gone unanswered. Um, most of my research has been focused on trying to unravel the ambiguous nature of this planet, said Montas Solinskis, a postdoctoral researcher at the Netherlands Institute for Space Research and co-author on the study. Uh, with Webb, we can finally start putting strong constraints on super-Earths, shedding light on their atmospheres and composition with unprecedented detail. Um, unlike the atmospheres of gas giant planets, which are relatively easy to spot, the first was detected by NASA's Hubble Space Telescope more than two decades ago. Thinner and denser atmospheres surrounding rocky planets have remained elusive. Previous studies of 55 Cancri e using data from NASA's now-retired Spitzer Space Telescope, suggested the presence of a substantial atmosphere rich in volatiles like oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide. Uh, but researchers could not rule out another possibility, that the planet is bare save for a tenuous shroud of vaporized rock rich in elements like silicon, iron, aluminum, and calcium. Um, the planet is so hot that some of the molten rock should evaporate, um, explained who. Uh, uh, measuring subtle variations in infrared colors. To distinguish between the two possibilities, the team used Webb's near cam and Miri to measure 4 to 12 micron infrared light coming from the planet. Um, although Webb cannot capture a direct image of 55 Cancri E, it can measure subtle changes in light from the system as the planet orbits the star. And by subtracting the brightness during the secondary eclipse when the planet is behind the star from the brightness when the planet is right beside the star, the team was able to calculate the amount of various wavelengths of infrared light coming from the day side of the planet. And that's it for today's video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more fascinating content on space exploration and exoplanets. Um, thanks for watching.